So we finally have it. It's finally here, the newest update for Ground Branch. Let's dive into it. But before we do that, if you are into tactical shooters, then subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and if you could help out, that would be awesome. Thank you for all your support. So starting off, we have a new map called Docks. This is a well-planned out map consisting of shipping containers, a docked boat and warehouses. One thing I do suggest is upping the amount of enemy AI you have on the map. It has some fairly open spaces so you can get into some pretty fun gunfights. You will have the two standard mission types, Intel Retrieval and Terrorist Hunt. We also have the Depot Overhaul and to me it actually feels like a new map. The new warehouses are awesome and you'll have a little town that you'll have to clear and there's a big dam north of the map. Again, with a map this size, I would really look at adding more AI than you normally would. We now have more customization when it comes to weather, time of day, and mission lengths. So we have a time of day preset where you can either pick custom and type in the time that you want, like we always had, or you can pick a pre-selected time of day starting from pre-dawn all the way through to early hours. You can even change the date if you want. Then you have weather type, seasonal or clear, but it also says advanced time and weather may not be compatible with a selected level and timing may vary. Also a new time limit that you can do from five minutes all the way up to two hours if you wanna be a psycho. New lighting at the headquarters. So as soon as you go into the headquarters, you will notice the lighting has changed. It's not as bright anymore. It's a little bit more dim, which is quite nice. Now onto the new weapons, we have the MK17 CQC and DMR version, the AK105, the WZ88, the PKM, the PMM and the M24 SWS. The updated and replaced weapon models, the AK74M, AKS74U, AKS74U Alpha, AK105 Alpha, the M16A4, the SVD and the M1911A1. So I'm just gonna go through and shoot all these weapons, stock, no sights or anything like that. All right, so first up we've got the MK17, so the SCAR. I did actually have to put a sight on this gun though. Next up, we've got the SCAR DMR. The AK-105. Now we've got the AK-105 Alpha. The AKS-74U. The AKS-74U Alpha. Next up, the WZ-88. All right, now we got the big boy, the PKM. Now we've got the SKS.
Now the PMM pistol. Okay, so getting to the real exciting stuff, we now have, and after a long demand, we finally have tucked in shirts. Yep, that's right. All your shirts you had before, you can now tuck them in. That's all we've gotten when it comes to clothing. I would like to see new color options and maybe some colors worked on and updated. Beards, we have one beard, that's it. A little underwhelming. I'd like to see more beard options. I'm sure it will come in a later update though. We now have patches that we can put on our operator. A bunch of countries. I'm sure if your country isn't there, it will get added soon. You can also change the color of the patches. You have normal, green, gray, and tan. New night vision. We now have quad nods. This is some of the best night vision I've seen in any game. So no need for any mods. Use these because these are seriously awesome. You also have a choice between green and white phosphor. This has made me really excited to do more night raids. We now have the new name saving presets, which is just a good quality of life update. So now instead of having to always think of what to call your build, it will name it for you using the items that you have in your loadout. So for example, my MK18 rifle is named MK18-T1 because I'm using the Micro T1 sight. You can choose whether it names it just by the item name, so it would just be MK18, or item name plus key feature, so this is MK18-T1 or the other two options will give you more of a description on what's on your rifle. So in the name or name more items on your gun or load out whatever you're doing. So that just about does it. Now this update is absolutely huge. So there's probably a lot of things. Well, I know there's a lot of things I have missed and haven't put into the video. I have tried to squeeze in as much information as possible, but there is a lot to cover. So I'll link the patch notes in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like the update? Was it worth the wait? let me know. If you did like this video, if you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, that's perfectly fine. Comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.